I'm not being overly dramatic here when I say, ladies, we have to be vigilant, dedicated to safeguarding our marriages. We have to be so intentional about guarding our marriages because Satan, well, his mission statement is basically explained by Jesus in John 10, 10, where Jesus says Satan is out to steal, kill, and destroy. He wants to destroy your marriage. He wants to kill your marriage. And he is very crafty about how he tries to do this. He does it so slowly and subtly that you hardly even notice. But I'm here to expose his schemes. And you know, in James 4, we're told in the Bible to submit yourselves to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Well, let me suggest some ways that we can resist the devil. And it's really by acknowledging and being aware of his schemes. Here are some of the common schemes he uses these days. He tries you to get you to connect with an old boyfriend or even a former husband, if you've been married before, on Facebook, just to see what's going on with them. It seems so innocent, but you can start an emotional connection if you start going back and forth on Facebook or social media. That's one little plot. Another plot is having you work closely with a member of the opposite sex. Try to avoid that as much as you can, or if you have to, make sure you leave you know office doors wide open, no closed door meetings. Here's another little common method is maybe you have a good friend that is a man, not your husband, but a good friend, maybe some guy that you've known for years. And it's like, oh, I don't, I don't have any interest in him sexually or anything like that. He's just a friend. And you end up over time, maybe confiding in him about some problems with your husband or in your marriage. Danger ahead. Don't confide in another man on a deep emotional level other than your husband. You will start to form an emotional bond and it is so dangerous. My husband and I, we have developed rules and I suggest that you and your husband do the same thing. Rules that you can agree on to protect your marriage. For instance, I've agreed that if any man corresponds with me, sends me an email, sends me a Facebook message, I tell my husband, he does the same thing with me. If a woman contacts him, he actually forwards the email to me so I can always see what's going on. I don't have men in my house when my husband isn't home. If a man comes knocking on the door, even if I know him, unless he's like my brother or something, I say, you know what, my husband's not home and we have this little rule to protect our marriage that I don't invite men in the home. Even if it's a pastor, I'm like, you know what, I'm guarding my marriage. And if a person is a godly person, they are going to actually respect that very intelligent boundary. Safeguard your marriage, ladies. Be intentional. Don't allow Satan to steal, kill, and destroy in your home.